Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. So yes, I have been away for a little bit, but hey, I am back and I just want to thank you all for the comments on the previous video. The last video that I made was about concerns about this game's events uh, related to uh, honestly all kinds of things. And I did read every single comment that you guys suggested and I will be compiling some suggestions to the developers and once I get some feedback, I will let you guys know. But going to this video's topic, we not only have Lucky Egg today, but we also have the treasure hunting. Now related to the lucky egg, you guys already know how it goes. Uh, I'm going to claim the lucky egg. I actually got a normal lucky egg, not a shiny lucky egg this time. We have a lot of Pokemon that we can get. I'm really hoping uh, if I would get the Reshiram, I would freak out. It, uh, if I get like one of the Tapus or a Dragapult would honestly be awesome. So there's a lot of good things that I can get from this. So please don't get me a Meloetta. We have our flame body in the team. So the egg should only take one hour to hatch. Related to the other recharge event. <gasps> Wait, yo, shiny Azumarill. Wait, hold on. I can use this. Yo, I have a, a honestly, I have a very nice idea. For shiny Azumarill, you guys might see in a future video of mine. Let's claim all of these rewards of the recharge. I'm burning all of my energy on Feromosa right now. Once the Feromosa reaches the red plus three, I will stop on the Feromosa and I will probably continue not on Excadrill. I think the Excadrill can stay like this because honestly, I feel like he already has enough for what it provides. And I can just start on either Giratina or, or Raikou, but it will be Giratina first, so that I can show you guys. So let's go and spend some energy over here. Never let your energy stack up, okay? That's a, a bad thing, because energy just restores over time. If you are letting your energy above 150 or above whatever your limit is, you are just wasting energy. No point. About the gadget, by the way, I don't want to play this week. Honestly, like there's no much Pokemon over here that interest me. So we will be waiting for the next week to do the 100 opening. Maybe next week we will have like something nice. And finally, let's go over here. A <laughs> gacha point ticket. This time we will get it for sure. First, we do like six spins because we had like uh, 26 remaining time. So 26 chances of spinning. And I feel like I should be doing it this way at least until I reach 320. And now on the 320, since it's guaranteed, it says that it's guaranteed when it's, once it reaches 330. So we just do the 10 times. And let's see like that. We got a Master Ball. What else we get? We got some of those essences. Uh, honestly, the essences are very useful right now. So, um, hello? <laughs> Wait, what? I guess it's only one after. So it's like remaining times 11. Now if we spin one. Yes, our lucky got reset to zero. And we got it. The gacha point <laughs> ticket. Let's go. Now, what can we get with the gacha point ticket? I'm going to use my other 10 remaining spin chances to get something. Okay, got some materials. I'm gonna claim my extra rewards as well from over here. And we are going to the bag and we do have the Gacha Point ticket. After using, you can get 1,500 Gacha Coins. And honestly, I am going to use it right now. I just click on use. Nothing bad should happen, <laughs> I'm assuming. And I'm going to the Gacha, going to the Gacha shop. And as you can see, 2.3K because I already have 880. So right now i can buy any of these pokemons and i'm going to refresh to show you guys so there's giratina there's reshiram which is available on the lucky egg right now there's zekrom as well i know there's groundon there's kyogre like there's multiple things like all of these orbs they could just get out of the store right now they're doing nothing over here since like there's no use for them right now there's giratina dude and like first that you get like the Pokemon that you want. Look at this, there's Arceus, Reshiram, Ho-Ho. So there's a lot of cool Pokemons to obtain. And, oh, there's Xerneas and Arceus. Uh, Sadly, you cannot get Zacian over there, but there's like a lot of other Pokemons like the Mewtwo, like the Arceus that a lot of people play. There's a lot of people playing Groundon. And I'll be honest, I still have no idea 
of what I want from the Gacha Shop. So if you guys have any suggestions of what Pokemon could I pick up from the Gacha Shop, feel free to let me know in the comments. Uh, there's people already suggesting me like something like Reshiram, Groundon, like a fire type mostly. And honestly, it's not bad, but I'm still not 100% convinced of what to choose. Actually, you know what I was thinking? So according to your suggestions, I would make a poll. And according to that poll, according to your votes, you could select the Pokemon that I would summon on the Gacha Shop. I would not mind at all. Exactly, that's how it's going to be. So you guys can suggest a triple S Pokemon that I can obtain from the Gacha Shop, and I would make a poll based on your suggestions. Then I would get the Pokemon that gets the most votes out of that poll. Any suggestions are welcome, and let's just wait for the egg now. One hour later. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Please don't get me a Meloetta. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined.